Secret Life of Germs was amazed by the results of Fox 5's soft ice cream and yogurt test. Some of the counts are so high. We bought soft serve ice cream and yogurt from 20 trucks, including Mr. Softy, Yogo, and independent operators. We put the samples in sealed plastic bags, then stored them on dry ice in a cooler, as we were instructed by the government certified laboratory where we brought them. The lab tested them for bacteria, particularly coliform bacteria. Where you find coliforms, they're sort of a surrogate for fecal contamination. Um, enteric organisms, such as an E. coli, O157, such as a Salmonella, uh, such as a Shigella. The USDA allows up to 10 coliforms per gram for vanilla ice cream or yogurt, 20 for other flavors. So the standard is 10 to 20 is not going to hurt you. Above that may hurt you per gram. The good news is the samples from five of the 20 trucks were extremely clean, less than one coliform per gram. The bad news, 15 of the 20 trucks failed to meet the government standard and some coliform counts were astonishingly high. Take a look at the numbers. The majority of the samples had more than 100 coliforms. Eight contained over 1,000, going all the way up to an incredibly high 320,000 coliforms per gram. For them to put out products like this is very concerning to me. By far the worst results came from this Yogo truck near Union Square Park. The first sample taken from this truck had 42,000 coliforms per gram. The second, taken on another day, had 320,000. Do you clean your machine? Yeah, clean machine. How often? What? How often do you That's clean? every day. Every day? Yes. Because they found 320,000 coliforms per gram, and only, it's also only supposed to be 10, and you had 320,000. It's a, I don't understand. It's very dirty. I don't understand, sir. His customers, who pay $4 for a small serving, understood all too well. Oh my God. I wish you had told me that before I got I'm it. I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> see you buying it. Oh my God, you're gonna throw this out now. Experts say the main cause of high coliform counts is the machines not being thoroughly cleaned each day. Another source of contamination could be the truck operator's unsanitary practices. If an individual who's handling the product does so sloppily, has a rag that they use to clean a counter and just puts it back, doesn't wash their hands in between, or doesn't wear gloves. As you can see, many of the truck operators we went to were not wearing gloves as they dispensed the ice cream and handled the money. I spoke with the operator of this Mr. Softy truck in Midtown, which had 1,600 coliforms per gram in one sample, 210 in another. You're not wearing gloves. I have gloves. You, but you don't yes. wear gloves when you give the ice cream out. No, uh, for me it's no good the glass take money in it. Only one, use one. She said she wears one glove to handle the ice cream, but our pictures from two different days tell another story. Then there's the dirty rag we saw next to the machine. Do you use this rag to wipe it down? This isn't, yes, I have. You keep using the same one. It's you're supposed no, to no, change. This is, no, this is now clean. I throw, look, I throw all day, throw, throw. Now take a look at this other truck on 77th and Central Park West. Not only is the woman serving soft ice cream without gloves, but she also commits another one of Dr. Tierno's cardinal sins. And you can also get contamination at the spout as an individual handles the product. Watch after she gives these customers their change. You see there's a little bit of ice cream still hanging from the machine. So she uses the finger of her bare hand to wipe it off and puts it in her mouth. Maybe that's one reason the lab found 7,600 coliforms per gram in one sample from this truck. 
A sample from another day had 28. I tried showing the results to the operator. And the ice cream had a lot of bacteria in it. Uh, but the man behind the wheel of the truck yelled at me to get out of here. You want to talk about it? Bye. Come on. Uh, you had like way too much. What's going on? Do you clean this truck? Do you clean this truck? They took off. And when we went back the next day, they drove away again. But we caught up with them at a red light. You come and test it right now. I'll give you a sample right now and you test it. Instead of commenting on our lab results, he insisted we test his ice cream again. Maybe he cleaned the machine after our first visit. One day you had good yeah. results, one day yeah. you had bad Take results. Take it right now. Now you tell me. Now, now. Bad results. why don't you cover it up right now? Why don't you cover it up? How do you explain the why bad results? Why don't you cover results? it up, Arnie? Cover second. it up. On the other hand, there are the good trucks, like this one on 16th and Union Square West, called Big Gay Ice Cream, whose product had less than one coliform per gram. What do you attribute that? Um, we take really good care of our machine, good care of our truck. We keep it clean. We clean it every night. You know, we keep everything up to health code. And this Mr. Softy truck on 22nd and Broadway also passed with flying colors. You see the truck is clean. Everything has to be clean because you're serving food. He invited us inside to take a look, and the truck was spotless. But most customers don't get this kind of access before they buy their ice cream or yogurt, so it's a gamble. And with 15 of 20 trucks failing to meet the government coliform standard, the odds are against the consumer. While it's difficult to tell if high coliform counts are causing intestinal problems, Dr. Tierno says as a general rule, he steers clear of these trucks. I have bought ice cream from trucks, from packaged frozen desserts. I see. For my grandkids but uh, it was in a package, a sealed package. But you won't buy the stuff they I serve. won't buy loose, not from a truck. So into our Fox 5 Hall of Shame, we induct those truck operators whose dirty machines and unsanitary practices results in customers getting a big dose of coliforms with their ice cream and yogurt. Shame, shame, shame. A high number of coliforms is not proof there's E. coli, salmonella, or shigella in the product, but it does mean there could be. The New York City Health Department inspects ice cream and yogurt trucks for cleanliness, but it does not test the product. A Mr. Softy vice president says the company stresses the need for good operating practices and most of its truck owners pay attention. The president of Yogo says its franchise owners are instructed to clean the machines every day and the company will take action against a vendor found to have dirty equipment or unsafe ice cream. Because the trucks are not always in the same place, we were unable to find some of them for comment after our test. But we do have a list of the five trucks whose products met the government standards on our website, myfoxny.com. Just click on the shame link at the top of the page or call us at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5. I'm Arnold Diaz, Fox 5 News.